I left with all my faculties. You know, I think it's going to be so entertaining if we can do it, if we can happen to put a boxer with an MMA fight. You know, because I can't, I can't overlook that guy. Me, myself, I'm not going to overlook him. We haven't made the fight happen yet. But, um, and we can tweak it. We can tweak a few things. I'm pretty sure we can get him a, um, not a good payday, but a great payday. Could, could you break your own record, Floyd, considering how big that fight would be when you're merging two sports? Well, I, well, my number, well, my numbers for the Pacquiao fight, um, I know we was at 4.6. I, I know we somewhere around 5 million now. Wow. 5 million homes, pay-per-view. And then, even if we're not at 5 million, it sounds good. <laughs> I know we, 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 we're over 4.6, so we're going to say 5 million. Um, we probably can break that number. It's possible. Anything is possible. What do you tell all the fans who love you and support you and want to see you back in the ring? Well, I'm only, if I do fight, it's only against Conor McGregor. That's what I'm going to only fight. And not against no, nobody else. Because this is just so, this matchup is so intriguing. You have a fighter against an MMA fighter. You know, one of the best MMA fighters to ever to do the to, to do combat and stand up and do it. I mean, he's a strong fighter. And uh, when I look at him fight, he's a little faster than I thought he was. So if the fight happens, you know, I can't overlook the guy. If Connor's watching this play, what do you tell him? Uh, I'm pretty sure if we make the fight happen, uh, I'm pretty sure he's gonna push me to the limit. What did he say uh, to you after the sparring? No. Good work, thank you. Good work, good work. Um, first thing he said is you can see that uh, I've got a lot of experience in the boxing world. Um, very humble human being. I've got so much respect for him. Really surprised me. Chris, which professional fighters do you think Conor McGregor could beat in a boxing ring boxing? Oh, let me, yeah. I want to say that. Conor McGregor knows how to let his hands go. Guy's not, he's not bad. He knows what he's doing in there. Um, he's comfortable being in the ring. And don't underestimate him because Conor will beat a lot of fighters out there. He will beat a lot of, a lot of boxers out there. Does he beat any champions? I mean, obviously, my personal opinion, he does not beat Floyd Mayweather. But do you no, think he could he beat, does, can he, he beat any of the other 147 there's, champions? There's, there's guys out there, I would say. Kel Brook, does he beat Kel Brook? No, he doesn't beat Kel Brook. That is, that is. The, Jesse beat Vargas Kel beats Kel Brook. He doesn't beat, I like Jesse Vargas. He's like a great Jesse, dude, I, I hope I he like wins. They're fighting now, it's official. Is, is, it, is it on? Yeah. When, when is the day? Uh, either uh, either well, September team, 3rd and the Vargas. Vargas for that. That's I like it. I want to see Jesse Vargas kick his ass. Me too. Me too. I want to see Jesse <laughs> beat him. Who, who can Conor McGregor beat from the names that we know, from the big names? Do you think, is there well, anyone? Give me a few names and I'll, I'll say. Okay. Danny Garcia? No. Amir Khan? No. Uh, Jesse Vargas? No. Uh, Adrian Broner? No. He's not, a, I, I would not rate him that high. Okay. As a boxer, no way. So Sean Porter, Keith Thurman? No. No, those are, those are monsters. Those are the real boys. And those are a lot of the big 147 names. Yeah, no, no. no but no, you no. still think if he, if he got in there with the, some pro fighters, he could absolutely, hold his own? Absolutely, absolutely. He will hold his own. I, I, I can tell you that. You sparred with 16-ounce gloves, so you didn't have a chance to taste, quote-unquote, his power. But what did it feel like, like when he landed? You know, he's got power, but with 16-ounce gloves, you It's like pillows. That. Yeah, you it's good. That yeah, that's to protect both of you. And... and with my movement, I'm not a, I'm not sitting right in front of him to hit me. No. So I've got movement, he's got movement, so I couldn't rate the power. Anything that you could pick up for the next sparring session that you say, wow, I picked that up from Connor? Yes. What? He's got a beautiful Connor left. Show me. How does it go? He, he's, he's, he, and he tries the shoulder roll. I'm not going to try the shoulder roll because I can't do the shoulder roll. But he, but he, but he, but he waits for you to throw his punch up himself, so he waits for it. He rolls it and he comes back with a straight left straight away and he comes back. He's really good at it. His timing and precision is beautiful. So I've learned that from him and I know that he's, he's counter left. That's his weapon. Where do you rate his defense? Because Floyd is the best defensive oh, fighter we've know, ever he, seen. He's not bad. He, 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 he got away with the, the shoulder roll a few times. So he's going to be the Irish he, shoulder he, so roll against the Mayweather? He got away with the shoulder roll. And he's got a good defense. He's not bad. He's really not bad. I've been, I've underestimated Connor and he's good. Do you think the fight happens, Mayweather McGregor? Everything inside of me is saying 
it's gonna happen because you know it's TV. You know, there's money. Okay. And the argument is there. I think it will happen. I, I think it will happen eventually. I don't know if you saw this, but Monday morning you took over the internet. Front page of every newspaper <laughs> about what you said that the only fight you're coming back for is McGregor. And the first people were what like. Conor McGregor? Yeah. Sorry, what did I call him? He, he was right. Okay. Conor McGregor, but, you're right. At first people thought you were joking, but now when they see that it's, fru it's coming to fruition and may be the real deal, everybody's into it. <laughs> we're just working. Just working. Everything takes time. Working. Um, we haven't talked yet. You know, I'm pretty sure we'll get to talking real soon because. I know everyone wants to see this fight before the end of the year. Um, great matchup, you know, MMA meets boxing, but like I said before, he's a hell of a stand-up guy. You know, most of his victories uh, is from him step, you know, standing up, fighting toe-to-toe, -to -toe. so we'll just see. He had a 13-second knockout win. Lloyd, that was very impressive against a guy that was a champion for 12 straight years. I mean, you know, you live and you learn. We just have to see how everything plays out. But here's the funny part. Anytime someone gets up and says they'll beat Floyd, something bad happens to them in the ring of the octagon. Have you talked to him about that at all? Um, I haven't. I've, I've never even met. You never met Conor? I never met Conor McGregor. Very interesting guy. A lot of personality. And if we do fight, very, very interesting fight we win. I hate to bring it up, Robert, because a lot of people really don't like this matchup, but he, he told you that you should train McGregor, and you said that it's business, you would train him, but it seems like it's getting more serious by the week, by the okay. month. Uh, well, what, what do you take I to that, man? And, and would you really yeah. train him? Me, personally, on, uh, at first, I didn't believe it. Yeah. When Mayweather talked about it and, and mentioned it, then I kind of like that, damn, maybe it is something that's going to happen. Yeah. But me, at, at first, I... I probably be one of the, the ones that said that shouldn't happen. How could you have an MMA guy as big as he can be and as much money as they can make and as much pay-per-views as they can sell? It still, to me, still doesn't make make sense, you know, to have an MMA fighter fight, fight Floyd Mayweather. You know, if an MMA fighter, we've had him before, they want to go into boxing. They start off, you know, fighting four rounds and just like a pro debut because it's a totally different sport for... Conor McGregor to come and to, you know and and fight me with it. It's just kind of like hard for me to to believe. But you know, the if the money makes sense. That's all. That's that's what Mayweather is about. A businessman, and uh, and that's gonna make him a couple hundred million dollars. I don't you know, him. there's another rumor going around, Freddie and, and Floyd. I talked to him, and he he said the rumor might not be false, but him and Conor McGregor or his combining boxing and MMA. Yeah. Pretty. What, what is your reaction to that? I got a, I got someone asked me if I would train Conor or Jay. So I said, yeah, sure. Yeah, because, but I wouldn't train him for Mayweather, though, because yeah. let's face it, Mayweather will destroy him in a boxing match, and Conor might destroy him in an MMA fight. Wow. You know, so they didn't, they're way two different sports. But he seems like a nice kid, and uh, if he needs help in the boxing world, I would definitely be um, able to help him if I could. And um, it'd be you know, welcome. I, you know, I, I like to help people. So the thing is, uh, anyone comes to my gym, I'm gonna. Do it's my like best. it's getting serious, man. I mean, well, if Freddie was even approached to train McGregor, what if what if they approached you, man? Would you would you train McGregor for Mayweather? Well, you know, like I just said, it's, it's business, bro. That's yeah. what I said. This is a business, and that's yeah. why if that fight happens, it's just because of business, and yeah. they'll make a lot of money. That's the only reason. So, of course, you know, it's business. I would definitely take it. Yeah. <laughs> right, even say. if Floyd or Pacquiao yeah. came back, if they didn't fight Triple G or Canelo or each other. Who could they bump a Triple G Canelo fight? Who could they fight to bump? No one. There's no one I don't think that Pacquiao or Floyd could fight other than each other or Triple G or Canelo that could bump these two off a date. So what does that tell you? So that's the biggest fight in boxing. Speaking of biggest boxing, so if, if Floyd were to fight McGregor, how big would that be going to make with a backup because you're combining both sports? I don't know. I mean, it would do big business, obviously, but it's a sideshow because everyone in the world with a brain knows the outcome. In a boxing ring, Conor McGregor has a 0% chance to win. In an octagon, Floyd Mayweather has a 0% chance to win. I find the lack of respect for disciplines, for various disciplines, astonishing. You know, people that, it's like the people who think, as everyone here knows, that boxing, oh, I, you know, I'm a big, strong guy, I'll get in and box. You know, no, you won't. You really won't. 
And same thing where boxers feel like they could just get in the octagon. It's a total lack of respect for the discipline. And, and everyone who can think knows who wins a fight in, in, in a different person's sport. Come on.